Oh guys, welcome to my channel. This is David from China. Okay, this is my second video and then in this video we're gonna practice our HTML, JavaScript and CSS knowledge with the help of a project. I call it multiplication table. It's a kind of web app. For example, if I enter the number 22, let's say if I click the button, it will give me the multiplication of 22. And then in the bottom of the page, there is a button called it clear. If I press this button, it will clear the page. And also I limited the numbers from one to 1000. For example, if I enter the number 1200, the page will respond to me and it will say, please enter the valid number or the number between one and 1000. I will say, okay. And then I will enter the number, let's say 999. It will give me the multiplication table of 999. That's it. Let's get started. After finishing this video, you can create a kind of cool web app like this. Okay. I will open my text editor, Sublime Text. As I said before, you can use any text editor you want. Okay. I will create three new files. And the first one will be, I will name it, let's say, index dot html and the second one will be index dot css for my css codes and the third one will be index dot js for my javascript codes okay firstly i should open this index dot html with my browser google chrome and i will start writing some text let's say we'll write html oh it's javascript okay here our html file i will write some basic html tags and i will give the title of let's say multiplication table okay firstly i should link my css and javascript files to it i can say link css it's index.css and I should link my JavaScript file also using script. I can say source is equal to index.js JavaScript. Let's let's check whether our whether our CSS is linked or not. I can say background color is equal to black. Firstly, okay, let's check whether it's working or not. Yeah, it's working. It's pretty cool, guys. We can get started. Okay, inside the body, I want to let's write the comment. Firstly, I want to have the inputs. I want to have the inputs because the user should enter the number. For inputs, I will create the div and I will align it to the center, and everything inside that div will be in the center. Okay. Inside the div, I can have two inputs. The first one will be the in, the type will be number because the user should enter the number, and I will give the ID of input, and then I can access it using JavaScript. And then let's say the minimum number should be one, and the maximum number should be one thousand. And there is one more thing called step. Okay, I will explain step after one minute. Okay, the step should be one. Let's see in our browser, I will update the page. It will be a kind of number. As you can see, the minimum number is one. It will not decrease from one. But if I increase it, it will increase by one. And this is step. For example, if I make the step to five, it will. it, it has to increase by five. Let's say this. the, the minimum number is one. If I increase, it will increase by 5. And this is step. Okay, after that, we want to have the input button. Button for, for our JavaScript codes. And I can get give the value of click here. The value is the thing we see on the button. And after that, I can say on click on click if the user clicks the button it should go to our javascript code and call the function with the name of get info let's see how it looks here it is 
okay I don't want this to be in one line so here I will have the line break using let's see how it looks now here it is it's not in one line okay for inputs that's it and I want to let's uh, write a comment output and I want to have another div for my outputs I will give the ID of output output okay let's write it like this output and then I will give the I will align it to the center everything inside this div also should align to the center inside this I will not write anything for now because I want to write some text and multiplication tables using JavaScript okay after that I want to have another div and I will align it to the center this div is for my clear button and I want to have the horizontal line then I will write input the input will be button and I will give the value of value of clear let's say and then if they click the button the, the, the browser should go to my JavaScript and it should call the function with the name of let's say clear the table maybe clear the table and let's give the ID of clear because we can give some styles using this ID and let's align it to the center I hope you can follow me guys okay center okay that's it for our HTML let's see how it looks now here it is it's like this and with the help of CSS we can make it more beautiful so I will go to my index.css file and I will write some basic styles for example for my body I can say background color RGBA I like the RGBA colors 13 let's say 118 118 and the opacity should be 0 0.7 I hope you can understand the RGBA you can create any color you want R is red G is green B is blue so you can mix those colors together here it is the background color is so beautiful Okay, after that I want to style my inputs. I have three inputs. I want to have the same style to them so I can say height. Let's say the height should be 44 pixels and I will give the font size. The font size, let's say 20 pixels. And after that I can have background color. I want them to be black. And I will say color. Color is the color of the text. Okay, background color is black. Let's give the color of white. And also we can declare font weight. It will be it will be bold. And after that, let's see what else. Let's see how it looks now. Oh, it, it's not so good. Okay, we will give the margin because here it is. You can see the margin. The diff the distance is not is too short. I will give the margin top is equal to 10 px and then let's give the width to them width is equal to let's say 150 px here it is it's looking more beautiful okay and then after that I can give maybe text align text align text align should be it should align to the center after that I can give the box shadow of 5 px 5 px and 15 px and the box shadow color should be white let's see how it looks now wow it's it looks cool guys okay let's continue to design our page with our CSS codes and I should design our output also output is the div I gave for the output so I want to design it let's say we can get the ID with output we can give the background color is let's say white 
and the color should be black and we can give the font okay we can say the font weight should be bolder because the multiplication table should be how can I say different from the other texts and then we can say let's say width should be 90 percent the reason I'm doing it in person is is that it will take the 90% of your screen whether it's big or small so it will be a little bit responsive to your to your how can I say screen so it's a good practice to give the sizes using percentage okay after that I can say font size is 22 pixels okay what else we can give maybe box sizing should be border box and then let's give box shadow box shadow is 0 px 0 px 15 px the background color is white so we can give the box shadow of black and then it will it will look more beautiful and then after that i can say margin margin what margin left let's say margin left is equal to 5% five percent and then I can say padding is 10 px padding is the distance between the, the the content of the of the div and then the border okay after the padding I can say maybe margin top is 20 pixels and then margin bottom is 20 pixels okay let's let's see how it looks now here we can see this div right it's really small because it doesn't have anything on it so if you write the multiplication table it will get bigger and bigger but for now I don't want this div here so I can say display okay I here I can say display is equal to now okay let's update it here we have nothing. I want to. I want when we click this button, click here, and then I want that div to be shown. In order to do that, we will take. We will. JavaScript will help us. We with the help of JavaScript, we can do that. Okay, let's finish our CSS style. The only thing left is this clear button. I don't want this to be here for now. So I can also do that using CSS. Okay, I can say display is none for now it's none let's write some basic things the color should be white and the background color should be black and then the width should be 100 pixels and then the height should be 40 pixels and then we can say font size is 20 pixels Okay, that's it here. Here it is. We have nothing shown right now, so we can get them using JavaScript. Okay, for our CSS, that's it. We can start coding our JavaScript. Okay, I can write the function with the name of show. Oh no, get info. Okay. The reason I'm giving this name is that here in HTML we have written when we click this button, clear here button, it should go to our JavaScript and run the function with the name of get info. Here is this function, so we can write a lot of codes to this. Okay, at first we should declare our variables. The first variable will be, will be var input is equal to document document dot get element by id input dot value okay with the help of this variable i am taking the input the user enters here writes here and then we i we, i can multiply it by different numbers and i can get the multiplication table just pay attention that i am taking the value not this uh, input itself i'm taking its value using input okay and then i can say var output is document document oh document 
dot get element by id output okay the element with the id so the element with the id of output is the div i declared and i gave the output of div i want every information to be shown on that div so let's get continued and then after that var clear is equal to i want to declare a variable okay i can say get element by id is clear this is our button call it clear clear button okay after that i can declare another variable and i will say text area text area is equal to document dot get element by id i can say input okay here it is you might have a question you know, why you are taking this um, the element with the id of output twice in the first one i am taking its value in the second one i am taking just uh, itself the input itself you know after writing the number for example here if you click the button i don't want the number to be left here so i i want to clear it so you will see right now that's it we can write our codes let's jump into if else so the first one if if our input i can say if our input is smaller or equal to zero or input is greater than 1000 i want the alert button to be shown i can say alert we can write some things for example please enter the valid number or the number between 1 and 1000 okay after that we can say if it's not like that we can say else let's say output dot inner html before writing something on the output i want to clear its inner part so we can say output dot inner html is cleared and we can say output dot style dot display i want to show it so i can say display is equal to block actually for now it's uh, the display is none with the help of javascript i'm showing it i'm just changing its display to block and then using for loops we can give the multiplication table okay let's say for var i is equal to zero and i should be smaller than or equal to 10 and then i should increase by one okay let's declare declare another variable let's say result is equal to result is equal to we can say input multiply multiplication sign and then we can say i i is equal to input oh here input multiplied by i and then we can write the horizontal line after every line there should be horizontal line okay we have already gotten the better the multiplication table but we want to show it inside our output div right so we can do it using we can say output output dot inner html is equal to result result okay i want this result to be shown inside this uh, output okay let's check whether it's working or not okay i can write the number 33 here it is but there is a mistake where is the mistake oh here it is the it shouldn't be equal to it should add everything because here we have 10 lines in order to add that we should make it plus and equal to so let's check it one more time 33 let's see here it is we have already gotten the multiplication table but the, here after clicking the button we can still see 33 so we can clear it using let's say text area dot inner html oh let's say value text area dot value is equal to i think okay let's check it one more time 
let's say this time 5. Here it is, the 5 disappeared after we click the button. We have multiplication table here, but we don't have the clear button. We can show the clear button by changing its style. So we can say clear dot style dot display is equal to block block okay let's see whether it's working or not this is okay let's say 10 i want to get the multiplication table of 10 here it is the multiplication table and this text area clear it and then after that we must have clear button here it is okay we want to have another function for example if i click this button i don't we want this multiplication to be cleared so we can here we have declared the function right here clear table clear the table we should write another function with the name of clear the table i can say function clear the table okay for this function i need only two variables the first one is output do i can say var output is equal to document dot get element by id i can say output we have already got an output div and the second one is i want this button also itself to to be to disappear so i can say clear is equal to document dot get element by id clear because i gave the id of clear to this button and then we can say clear dot style dot display display is equal to none and then we can say output dot style dot display is equal to none that's it i think for our javascript also that's it let's check it whether it's working or not let's say 21 here it is we got the multiplication table text area cleared and we have the button clear if i click this clear button it's cleaning the page and then after that i can say 1000 itself here it is i got the multiplication table of 1000 and if i clear it it will get cleared and if i write 1000 and 1 it's greater than bigger than 1000 so the page will say please enter the valid number or the number between 1 and 1000 that's it i hope you can follow me and you did this this with the help with me and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments please subscribe to my channel and like the video the more and more projects are coming soon i want to have the channel i want to have every each of you to learn programming better.